And we are back with the fifth segment of the GSMC Basketball Podcast presented by the GSMC Sports Network. And yes, this is actually a conversation going on. So in this segment, we are going to be talking about Jimmy Butler's hairstyle on Media Day because it is a very, it's a, it's like a, it's become like a meme sort of like in the NBA because, and it's so much of a meme that now there's like actual legitimate betting odds for like what hairstyle <clears throat> is Jimmy Butler going to um, going to rock and what Jimmy Butler is going to have on media day because the last few years on media day Jimmy Butler has had some of the most interesting uh, for lack of a better term hairstyles and I'm sure um, Manzano if he's still in the chat he knows exactly what I'm talking about about these um, about these hairstyles and about how egregious they are. So over here, you can see the hairstyle that he um, ended up going with. It's supposed to be emo because around this time, it was um, rumored that Damian Lillard was going to end up getting traded to the Miami Heat. But then unfortunately, well, if you are a Miami Heat fan, unfortunately, he ended up getting dealt with uh, the Milwaukee Bucks. And in response to that, Jimmy Butler was like, I'm emo now. <laughs> And it's it's been really it's really funny, but like the fact that there are betting odds on this and like which hairstyle he's gonna get is actually even funnier in my opinion. And just acknowledging some people in the chat, um, Dupal Gasol haters are going to hate. Yes, of course they are. They're everywhere. It happens, but I'm I'm used to it. You know, let them hate even more by um doing your thing. Of course, it's really just um. It's really just it. And look at him, like, oh, still in the chat, honestly. Like, you can click off the video, buddy. It really don't, it really doesn't matter. But aside from that, Jimmy Butler and his hairstyles, they've been very, very, they've been very ridiculous. So I'm actually kind of curious, since there we do have a lot of people in the chat, what hairstyle do you guys think Jimmy Butler is going to have coming into media day? Do you think he's going to actually have his, you know, the hair that he's going to always have? during the regular season because after media day he always always ends up changing his hair back to normal and back to going into braids or something like that like he never goes into he's never set foot on the court looking like this which is it, it it's funny it, it's it's absolutely hilarious in my opinion but some of the betting odds for his um or some of the options for his hair do you guys think he's gonna go bald do you guys think he's going to come in with dyed hair? Do you guys think he's going to come in with an afro? Do you think he's going to come in with a mohawk, buzz cut, braids, a man bun? What do you guys think he's going to come out with? Because quite honestly, this is, I don't know if this is, and another question that I have, do you guys think that this sort of makes him a bit of a diva? Because that is sort of a, a reputation that he's had, like, and that's sort of the vibe that I'm getting based on how he acts. Like, I mean... He does this obviously, like, well, not obviously, but I feel like he does a lot of this for some of the, for attention from the media. I feel like that's what he does. And the reason why I feel like he does a lot of these things for the media is just based off of his personality off of the court. I mean, on his time with the Timberwolves, there were, um, he, there were reports that um, he wanted to get traded, and he was vividly showing that he wanted to get traded, and he was doing the absolute most to get traded. And on top of that, his time with Miami, just recently actually with the postseason, he mentioned how if he was healthy during the postseason, the Boston Celtics would have lost the series. And in, from where I'm standing, it's like, you can't do that. Like, you, you really can't say that, especially after the um, Miami Heat ended up getting gentlemen swept by the Boston Celtics. You, that's just not something that you say. And Pat Riley did have a lot of things to say about that. And, I mean, he said that he should keep his mouth shut since he wasn't playing on the court. And I feel like, you know, a lot of these things are that Jimmy Butler tends to do is done for the attention of the media. Again, he doesn't really care, and all power to him for not really caring what he what other people say about him. But again, it's just it's something rather interesting to think about. And the fact that people are really placing betting odds on his hairstyle, I think is funny. There's also one that um there's all I there was one comment that I saw that somebody said that he was going to come in looking like um Mickey Mouse with some pigtails going on on the side, which I thought was hilarious, which I did see him I think I saw him wear that once on the court during a game. I could be wrong. I don't really pay attention that much to Miami Heat games. Again, I follow a lot more 
of the teams that are closer in my region, as well as, you know, the Lakers and LeBron. But it's like, how could you not follow the Lakers and LeBron? But, and most of the time, the Heat games, they aren't really on the TV channel, so I don't really have access to watch a majority of them. But I did see, I do remember seeing Jimmy Butler with those pigtails. So it is a possibility. Again, this is probably going to be Jimmy Butler's last year with the Miami Heat. So any of you Miami Heat fans, I mean, good luck. I have no idea whether or not he's going to sign an extension with them, what's going to happen during the season. Because, I mean, if... God forbid, like the Miami Heat, if a rumor springs about that Jimmy Butler wants to get traded, then maybe, or like that the Miami Heat want to trade Jimmy Butler, then maybe out of nowhere, um, he'll just start acting like how he did on Minnesota. That's totally a, a possibility. I mean, I have no idea with Jimmy Butler. He's a wild card at times, and you put up with that wild card because at the end of the day, he does end up making the finals sometimes. Like, I mean, you know, every other year he does make the Western, um, the Eastern conference finals, excuse me. And they do end up facing off against the Celtics. A lot of the times they faced off against the Celtics numerous times in the postseason. but that's, that's basically all that I have to talk about in this final segment. Again, I just thought it was very funny. Um, just the amount of the abundance of play of hairstyles that he has, on the on media day and how it's like every single time he comes in with a different look on media day and now people are actually placing bets on that i thought that was very hilarious but aside from that we that's all that i have for this segment so that's the end of the show thank you so much for tuning in to the gsmc basketball podcast presented by the gsmc sports network your support means a lot to us so remember to subscribe to the show leave a positive review really does make a difference. We also invite you to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram for more content and updates, especially now since the NBA season is going to be happening. um, Let me see. Since the NBA is going to be happening on October 4th. So that's really all that I have to... um, (laughs) That's really all that I have to say for today. And... (laughs) Um, Steven Torres in the chat is, um, right now he's like having a little chat with, um, Amir, who is the, um, who was the hater in the chat. (laughs) Just calm down. This is, this is a friendly space. It's supposed to be a friendly space. This isn't like, um, there's not supposed to be much animosity. I just want to talk basketball. Like that's really all that I want to talk about on this podcast, guys. Come on now. We don't need to, I mean, thank you, Steven, for, um, representing Jersey, standing up for, um, for all them people in Jersey. I love that. We love to see that. And again, that's all that I really have to say on this show. Again, be sure to tune in for, especially for the rest of the season, since the games are going to be starting. I'm definitely going to watch all of the games on opening night, since they are going to be happening on Friday, and it's a time that I can actually work with. And before I begin, I do like to remind everybody, we love to hear what you guys have to say during the show, especially today. Today was amazing. Today was awesome. So um, again, just Uh, If you really want your comment or question to get noticed, then I highly recommend using Super Chat. Just hit the dollar sign below the chat box, and you can send in your comments and or donations that way. If Super Chat's not really your thing, then that's totally fine. You can always use the link displayed below the ticker on every single show segment. That's gsmcpodcast.net, and you can send in your comments and or donations that way. Really helps the show, makes it much more interactive between myself and you guys, even though it was pretty interactive today as of right now. So that's all that I really have to say today. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, I'm your host, Nelson, and as always, take care. Let's go. I wake up to a little bit of drool on my pillow, feel like it's going to be a bad day. Yeah, I'm tired of shit, and the coffee ain't hit yet. Damn, ain't that great. I don't want to go.